Kilo Charlie, yeah. Lee Kilo, with the X-ray, KC-1, KW-X. KC-9, VKV, this is KC-1, and what's the rest? Yeah, Kilo Charlie, with Pennsylvania, that's on Pennsylvania, go ahead. Kilo Charlie 1, Kilo Charlie Whiskey, is that correct? Yes, you got it. It's uh, Christian uh, Eastern Connecticut. Alrighty, what's the name? Uh, it's Chris in Eastern Connecticut. Chris in Eastern Connecticut. Let me get that down. My uh, log has become very jammed up. Uh, got to learn to uh, stop doodling or write smaller. I'm not sure what. Uh, Chris, what radio are you running, sir? Uh, I'm running a gauge to FTTX 101MP, uh, set into a uh, Drake L7, running about 500 watts. Roger. Now, uh, come slow. <laughs> come slowly with that radio. So I'll be sure and get get all the uh, uh, the um, ID on that. So come come again with that radio, Roger. Sure. Um, it's a Yezu FTDX 101 Mary Peter, um, and I'm feeding that into a Drake L7, uh, pushing about 500 watts into a uh, dipole about 20 feet off the ground. Roger, uh, so uh, EX101M, and what's the last uh, letter? MP, Mary Peter, DX101MP. MP, Roger, Roger, got you there, sir. Sounds really good. Uh, I wish I had just a little bit better coffee on you. Uh, uh, come back and tell me about your antenna system. Uh, the antenna's just a, uh, a dipole about the antenna's just a, uh, a dipole about 20 feet off the ground. Um, you're coming in here with about a, uh, a 10 over 7, uh, and you sound really good. Roger, just check the uh, Rochester SDR, and you are running about 10 over on the Rochester SDR, Roger. 10 over on the Rochester SDR, Roger. Oh, fantastic. It's nice to hear that uh, this radio is finally working. It's taken a lot of uh, a lot of learning and a lot of turning dials to get it to uh, <laughs> to perform. So uh, I think that I finally might have it, uh, have it mastered. I've only uh, probably run it for about an hour now. Uh, Roger, it looks good on the uh, frequency response. I'm looking at a, a spectrum analyzer, and uh, you are doing, uh, you know, fairly well through the uh, through the spectrum. And not a whole bunch on the bottom end, but I don't uh, usually uh, suggest, a, uh, you know, a, a bunch of bottom end because uh, if you, uh, you know, have some kind of uh, problems with uh, um, phase cancellation uh, on the top end, which is usually what, where it occurs, uh, then if you have a bunch of bottom end, suddenly you are not balanced uh, spectrum-wise, audio-wise, and you just sound really bassy with not much uh, intelligibility. So the way you're uh, EQing it now, uh, even if you do have some adversity in uh, phase angle cancellations, uh, you're still going to be uh, perceived audio-wise as to what the words are, Roger. Um, I do have this set uh, rather thin. Um, the microphone is a TR40, which is a pretty bassy mic, so I've set the parametric so that uh, it's mostly mids. Um, I find that uh, the bottom end just ends up distorting, so uh, um, right now that's kind of the way that I have it set. Um, I'll let you go and uh, get to somebody else. I know you have to run, and uh, pretty soon and that's when you turn into a pumpkin, but uh, I'll say 73, and I'll listen for you in there again uh, uh, some other time. Uh, again, uh, uh, some other time. Uh, it's KC1, uh, KWX, and I say 73. Roger, Roger, Chris. Uh, three is that way, sir. If you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday for the QSOV log. We start at 3.30, go to 5, and uh, we're recording all the way. If you want to hear what your radio sounds like, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSOV log page. Right now we're running about 980 uh, some odd QSOV logs. But uh, you'll be looking for one in specific, and it's called My Group Air Check 3620. My Group Air Check 3620, Roger.